Uh, hi guys, so quick video. Just want to point out the differences between uh, a fake and a Highland 0 to 30, 2 milliamp to 3 amp constant current, constant voltage board. Now, these boards are fantastic, don't get me wrong. Uh, you get yourself one of these, you will not be disappointed, but you'll be disappointed if you buy a fake. And you might be disappointed if you buy it from a company you spent thousands of pounds with. So the differences between them very quickly is one, you will notice that um, this is a fake board and here the voltage regulator is 90 degrees to the bus transistor. To see that here, you can see it, this is not a fake board. Um, this is an original, take note of these holes as well, the difference there probably better seen with this one because it hasn't got any thing shoving through but you've noticed there um, I hope you can see it well enough if you notice there how different they are and they are different one looks like a life boy and the other one just looks like a, a circle now the reason why this has got the sockets in because I figured well if I put some correct because in this one these have actually got uh, you can see that uh, uh, well, at least they've got some, some lettering on them. Uh, on these ones, again, they have. I don't know if you can see that that easy. It's not that easy for me to get that right on the light. And I'll see if I can zoom into that, but this camera's not there. I'm not the greatest at driving this camera at the moment. Uh, yep, but you can see they've they got things written on it, which is all good. Now, um, another thing about these as well is they've got these chong chunks. Capacitors. Yeah. I don't know if that's supposed to spell vent. Um, <clears throat> if you go and look at the contact form for Banggood, <laughs> spelling can be really funny sometimes. Uh, what else is there to tell the difference? Is uh, yeah, the voltage regulator. Um, this um, this part here. The fact that on these, if you look at uh, where is I got another board here somewhere with this. Oh, I've lost it. How did that happen? But what I want to show you is on, is on these ones, yeah, because these these are the ones that come with a kit. There's absolutely nothing on them. Nothing. So that's not very good either. And the biggest difference, of course, between the fakes and the original that I have found, and I've built a easier one here. Oh yes, sorry, Chong, and yeah, the ones that go on these boards are Jayco. Uh, well, they're not Jayco actually, they're uh, whatever this make is that you call it. Uh, that is not the one, is it? That is not the one, sorry, they're on here. Uh, J-A-K-E-C, however you say that, Jake, Jake. But they're all of them, are. they're all the same brand. They're all the same brand, nice for that. Um, these ones I don't know, I don't know these are just cheap and cheerful chong things all the way through. Oh, you see what happens as well if you leave them on. Uh, this one I just left on, it won't go above 26 volts. Uh, and uh, you get these horrible bright white LEDs, I mean bright white. Uh, and on this one at least you get a, a nice red. I know it looks clear, I know it looks like it might go white, but it doesn't, it puts this lovely little red colour out. So you know when you're uh, in constant current mode, you know when your current's been uh, uh, restrained, held back, uh, regulated, that's the one. <laughs> yeah, so very upset. I bought mine from Banggood, you, they go selling them 5 for 18 quid, they're fake. I'm having to jump through hoops at the moment, trying to get my money back from them, but... We probably all know that that's the case. And the most annoying thing about it as well, there's eight reviews for the people who've bought these and they all say they're fantastic. So I can guarantee you not one of these people have built them. Not one, unless they're sending them out to the people who are like good ones and they're sending crap out uh, to the people who maybe don't buy enough from there. But like I said, I've bought a lot of money, but I've got a whole, whole bunch of them here. Now I bought four first from eBay. They were these fake ones. So I went onto the Banggood website and the first picture on the ones that they got is this so you look at it and you see yeah that's the real one i'm gonna buy that so you buy them and then when you look through the other pictures you realize ah oh, the other pictures are like this and one of them's on its back like this 
show that side but then these these ones like this they're not populated the boards aren't populated but the components but you can see uh, the thingy on there on there I'll probably, there's one here that you can see it straight away uh, when you look through so I've not even bothered opening them right? just because they yeah. because they all come from language uh, apart from one of them uh, but yeah they're all like this with the voltage regulators at the side so one it's inconvenient being there because it makes the heat sink that you need to put on these things really because if you think about it you've got 24 volts going off to your fan because it's a 24 volt regulator and you've got 36 volts coming on DC from your AC once you've done your into your DC and you've got 12 volts then at whatever current to dissipate so let's just say for instance you're doing half an amp you're not going to be doing half an amp but let's say you're doing half an amp you've got 6 watts of power to get rid of and you, you want a heat sink on that baby because it gets hot, it gets well above you know, 50. <clears throat> so having it there where these leads are for this, you're either going to make the leads, make it stick out, you're going to have to have them stick up a bit. Now I did that on one of these boards. So in order for me to be able to do that, well, so at least then you can turn a heat sink upside down basically and strap it to this, else you might be touching these down here. With the fins on the back of the heat sink depends on how you're going to do heat sinking. Annoying and they don't work. And that's the massive difference. These work and this has worked for me for years and it works really well. I wanted to be able to build a bunch of these and send them out to you guys. Just say, look, yeah, it's there, we test it, works great. Send it out and then you got this. You'll have to get your own transformer. These are really heavy and uh you know pretty expensive. I can't just do that, but I can do this. But they've screwed me on the lot of it quite disappointing but hopefully you get to the bottom of it and i'll think of something else to do i've got a couple of little bits that i'm gonna do but uh we'll do that for, an, for another video and there will be another video on this where we go over this a bit more try and find out where the fault is um i'm not good enough to uh you know just to be able to do it like i know a lot of the people out there will be but what we maybe can do is just go through um component by component and just see where we got a difference where things could be going wrong or not bother and i just build some other kits that i bought and uh, do the same sort of thing with them because the first one i built off the other ones works so that's always a good sign guys catch you in the next one don't make the same mistake i did be careful and even if you see uh, that it may have that on the original imagery on the wherever you've been sold check that you don't have that there because technically legally i suppose they can say well you know they, they did say both uh, you just don't know how these uh dodgy uggers are gonna work please have recorded did you record it you did